South Africa supports UN Security Council resolution and Gauteng Sports Department committed to hosting AFCON. I'm Lebo Changela with this news update. South Africa says it supports a Western drafted UN Security Council resolution allowing a ceasefire observer mission in Syria. The country, which is a non permanent member of the Security Council, has called on all sides to the conflict to fully implement their commitments. Deputy Foreign Minister Ibrahim Ibrahim says South Africa is fully behind UN Peace Envoy Kofi Annan's call for the urgent deployment of a peace task force in Syria. The United States has called for a vote on the resolution to allow an advance mission to go to Syria next week to monitor the ceasefire. The Gauteng Sports Department says while it's committed to hosting the upcoming African Nations Cup, it will not compromise on its finances. Cape Town, Durban and Bloemfontein have also asked for clarification regarding financial commitments for the event. MEC Lebo Khamaila says organizers want only World Cup stadiums to be used. We also will never have enough money because there are a number of important Competing priorities uh, like uh, health, education, fighting of poverty, creation of jobs, and those are our main focus and priorities. As much as we want to host the Afghan 2013, it shouldn't be at the detriment of our own uh, financial situation and priorities. Ned Kennan, one spokesperson, Jeff Wick, says of four six passengers have sustained serious injuries when the hot air balloon they were traveling in crashed into power lines on the one farm in Salembosch. Wick says the basket fell to the ground. He says a woman sustained spinal injuries and had to be airlifted to hospital. The hot air balloon, which has been doing a tour of a Stellenbosch, crashed into overhead power lines, which ran above a winery. Um, the balloon caught fire and the basket fell to the floor. Paramedics are out to seem to find that uh, six occupants were in the basket at the time of the crash. Four were in a serious condition. One of the injured women was airlifted by the AMS SkyMed-1 helicopter to the Stellenbosch Medical Clinic. And South African Navy Chief Vice Admiral Johannes Mudimu says South African Navy ships deployed to the Mozambican area on the Indian Ocean have been successful in keeping Somali pirates at bay in the Sadek region. Mudimu is also the new chairperson of the Indian Ocean Naval Symposium, which took place in Cape Town for the first time on African soil. The four-day symposium wraps up its business today. Mudimu elaborates. Currently, I think where we are, the result of our ship's presence in the Mozambican Channel has resulted in that the Mozambican fishermen, they are back in the water, they are able to continue with their daily business of fishing. Uh, we have created an environment of confidence in the population of uh, uh, Pemba, in the population of Nakala, that the South African Navy is there in cooperation with Mozambique and Tanzania to make sure that this piracy doesn't spill over.